Hey Booktube, I'm here to do my first book review for June. I promised you all I would review a couple of the books that I read last month and I haven't done it so far, so I really need to get to it. So the very first one I wanted to do is one that was one of my favorite reads for May, and that is Blood Red Road by Moria Young. This is a dystopian set in the future where the world is basically turned into a wasteless dust land. Yeah. So the story starts off with our main character, Saba. Saba lives kind of in the middle of nowhere with her father, her sister, and her twin brother, Lou. Right from the beginning, you learn that Lou is not too happy with the way that they live. He wants them to move, go find somewhere to live that has better access to water, but their father refuses to move. Soon after, the adventure really starts when Lou gets kidnapped by, by some masked strangers. Saba's very, very close to her twin brother and vows to go after him and find him. From there, she sets off on a journey. The main character, Saba, is really hot-headed and strong. Just a really good character, and she had really good character development throughout the entire book. Their sister, Emmy, goes with her to find Lou, which annoys Saba to no end because she does not care for their younger sister at all. She actually blames Emmy for their mother's death because she died giving birth to her. There's really good character development in the fact that she goes from hating Emmy to actually liking her at the end of the book. The other main character we meet is Jack. We meet him about maybe a third way through the book. He's just an outlaw, and after Saba saves him from being burned alive, he decides to help her and set off a journey to go find her brother. There's more to his character than meets the eye, though. He actually knows more about where Lou's being held captive, and is more involved with it than Saba knows. There is a romance between the two. Jack actually confesses to being attracted to her pretty quickly, but Saba wants no part of it. She just wants to find her brother and then be on their way and have nothing to do with him. Really, really good dystopian. Very much enjoyed it. Actually went and purchased volume two immediately after that and read that the very next day in one sitting. I was going to do like a dual review of book one and book two, but I honestly don't want to give away anything. I think I've mentioned this before. I want to do spoiler free reviews. Hopefully I didn't spoil a whole lot. I don't think I did. All I did was mention that later on she does meet Jack, who is a main character in the story, so it kind of needed to be said. Another thing that initially annoyed me about this book, and I thought I wouldn't like it, was the writing style. Since there really is no civilized living, um, Saba and basically everyone else, the way that they talk, they mispronounce words all the time. They have kind of like a country accent to them, and that is how the book reads, exactly like that with misspellings and everything. I read the first 10 pages to this when I first got it, found it super annoying, and put it down, thought I would never get to reading this book again. And then when it was my TBR pick for the month, I kind of just said, Bridget, just read it, picked it up again, got past those 10 pages, and about 20 pages in, fell in love with this book, and I am so, so glad for that because I would have skipped over this, and this is like, ah, I have no words. If you love dystopian and you're looking for the next big thing, go read this if you haven't already. It's very, very good. That was my review for Blood Red Road. I haven't done too many reviews, and I'm still getting used to how I want to word things. So if you have any advice for me, leave it down below. Or if there was something you felt I didn't really go over that maybe I should have uh, emphasized more about because I really want to start doing more reviews but I'm really really bad at how I word things and that is why I put off doing them so often. If you like the videos though then keep watching and I'll talk to you guys later.